We go way back. A book about life on Earth and how it all began by Aidan Ben Barak and Philip Bunting from Roaring Brook Press. We go way back. Hey, you. Yes, you. We don't know much about you. You might be tall or short, have straight or curly hair. You might like dancing or ponies or cats. But we do know that you are alive. What is life? You have it. A starfish has it. A fly has it. A dead fly had it. A tree has it. A rock doesn't have it. A chicken has it. An egg might have it. A car doesn't have it. A robot doesn't have it. But what is it? People have been trying to say exactly what life is, but it's not easy. Animation, proteic structures, expanding organization, a fluid, self-reproduction with variation, a force, a kind of behavior, magic, information, energy, an autocatalytic reactive set, a mechanism. We know it's not a thing. Life is, um, life is the way that some things make more things that are a lot like themselves, but sometimes a little bit different, sort of. Where did you get it? You got it from your parents when they made you. They got it from their parents. We all did. We go way back. How did it start? Suppose we could see back in time, back to when the world looked like this. It was just rocks and water then. There were no people or animals or trees or plants, but there was a lot going on. Lava erupted from volcanoes. Water flowed in seas and rivers. Lightning and meteors rained down from above. And then something odd happened. We don't know exactly where it happened. Space, in the sea, in a warm pond, in super hot water vents deep in the ocean. We don't know exactly how it happened. With electricity? With tiny holes in rocks? Under ice? On mineral surfaces? But we do know there were elements in the Earth's seas. Sulfur, nitrogen, hydrogen, carbon, sodium, phosphorus, iron, chlorine, oxygen. Some of these elements joined together to form molecules. We know that some of these molecules flowed together to form small bubbles. Sometimes other molecules found themselves inside these bubbles. And then one day, a special bubble formed. This one was a very clever little bubble. This bubble could take molecules around it and use them to make more bubbles that were a lot like itself, but sometimes a little bit different. Soon there were more clever bubbles making more copies of themselves and each was a little bit different. After a while, literally billions of years, there were many kinds of things wriggling around in the water and each was a little bit different. In time, we found new shapes to be in, new places we could go, new ways to live. That first little bubble became all of us. All of us.